Good day students, welcome again to our virtual class. This time, let's talk about the Web 3.0 and the Semantic Web. Web 3.0 is also known as Semantic Web. It is a movement led by the World Wide Web Consortium. Their standard is to encourage web developers to include semantic content in their web pages. According to W3C, the semantic web provides a common framework that allows data to be shared and reused across application, enterprise, and community boundaries. The aim of Web 3.0 is to have machines or servers understand the user's preference to be able to deliver web content specifically targeting the user. For example, when using a web search in Web 2.0, the topmost result is based on the preference of several users who already searched for the item. The search engine then labels it the most common answer to the search query. Though there are instances wherein several preferences are considered like geographic location, Web 3.0 aims to do better. This is through studying personal preferences as an individual user and showing results based on those preferences. The internet is able to predict the best possible answers to your question by learning from your previous choices. For example, if you search in the internet for where is the best place to go shopping, Web 3.0 will aim to give you results depending on how you have made choices in the past. If you have purchased several shoes online, the internet will give you the result on the best place with the highest rated shoes around your vicinity. Another example is when you search for the best restaurant to visit in a specific area. First, it may look for your previous visits from other restaurants, and if you have rated them whether good or bad, in return, Web 3.0 will search for restaurants that have a similar menu, good rating, and budget that fit your preference in the past. However, Web 3.0 is yet to be fully realized because of several problems. First, compatibility. HTML files and current web browsers could not support Web 3.0. Second, its security. The user security is also in question since the machine is saving his or her preferences. Third, vastness. The World Wide Web already contains billions of web pages. Fourth, vagueness. Certain words are imprecise. The words old and small would depend on the user. Lastly, logic. Since machines use logic, there are certain limitations that a computer to be able to predict what the user is referring to at a given time. Well, that's all for today. I hope you learned something about the Web 3.0. And by the way, if you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to leave a like and comment and also make sure to subscribe also in my channel so that you will be notified every time I publish my latest video.